Hey, what's up, fam? It's Shaq from Streetlights, and I would like to share with you the word in Hebrews 4.12. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. There's a saying in Latin America that says, Words are carried away by the wind. And sometimes it might be true when we hear words, but they come through one ear and go out through the other because we maybe decide to ignore them. But the hard reality is that the words have power, power to build, power to destroy, power to encourage or power to hurt. Now, there's a word that whenever it reaches its destiny, it always fulfills its purpose. It was sent, and that's the word of God. We see in Genesis how the word of God created heavens and earth. We see how the word became flesh through Christ, and he died and resurrected for our sins. And the writer in Hebrews, he wants to remind us that the word of God has the ability and the capacity to transform our lives from the inside out. It's like a two-edged sword that penetrates at through bones and marrows, and, and, and I'm guessing it hurts, right? Well, the Word of God makes precise incisions like a surgeon to clean and remove uh, from us anything that pulls us away from Him. And yes, it will hurt because we're dying to our ego, but Christ is living in us. So today I invite you to meditate deeply on this truth and let the Word of God be the one that encourages you, inspires you, and restores you from the inside out. And may that Word uh, just transform your heart so that everything you do and say blesses everyone around you. We believe the Word of God is alive and it is powerful. Peace.